If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So first of all, I'm going to do is to create a new React.js project using Create React app, and I'm going to give the name of the app as my app. So now you can see that the new React.js project has been created. I'm going to open the folder my app just like this way. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the boilerplate course or unwanted files like logos from public folder. And then I'm going to remove the app.test logo report web items setup test files from the source folder. And after that, I am going to remove this section of index.js. Next, I am going to do is to change the app.js as like this way. And I am going to give app here. Okay, fine. Then after that, I am going to do is to run the project. NPM starter. So now you can see that the project as like this way. So next, I am going to do is to search for the Firebase. I am going to click on this link. Next, I am going to do is to click on this Get Started button. Then after that, I am going to do is, I am going to click on this Add Project button for adding a new project. Here, I am going to give the name of the project as Font Author. Then I am going to click on the Continue button. Next, I am going to disable this analytics section and I am going to click on create project. So, here you can see that a new project will be created in Firebase. The new project has been created. I am going to click on continue button. We will be redirected to the console. In the console, you can see three icons that is iOS, Android, and web. I am going to click on this web icon. So, here we have to give the name of the app. So, I am going to give the name of the app as phone auth itself. The next I am going to click on register app button. So after that, we need to install the Firebase into our project. As I am using npm, I am going to copy and paste this command into this new terminal as like this way. So now you can see that when I run the command, the Firebase has been installed into our project. You can see that in the package.json. After that, I am going to do is in the documentation, we need to use this set of code in our project. So for that, I'm going to copy this code as like this way. And I'm going to do is to create a new file. So I'm going to give the name of the file as setup.js. And into this setup.js, I'm going to paste the code. So here, I'm going to remove these commands for making it more clearer. As like this way. Then here you can see that. There is a Firebase config which contains the API key or domain, project ID, etc. So we don't want to bring any changes. So I'm going to just minimize this. So the next step that we have to do is in the documentation, we have to click the continue to console button here. Then we will be redirected to the console again. So here in the left bar, you can see there is a build option. So when I click the build, you can see that there is an authentication app check, Firestore database, real time database, etc. So from here, I am going to click on the authentication. So when I click on authentication, after that, I'm going to click on get started button. So here you can see some providers that is native providers, additional providers, custom providers. From here, I'm going to select this phone that is native provider and I'm going to enable it. The next day, I'm going to click on the save button. So now you can see that phone is enabled. Okay, fine. Then after that, I'm going to do is to take the project and here we need to import a function from Firebase. So we need to import a function from Firebase auth. So the function that we need to import is get auth. Then next, I'm going to do is to define a new variable. So I'm going to give the name of the variable as auth itself and I'm going to assign the get auth function to this auth here we need to do is to pass the app to this get auth as an argument okay so next day i'm going to do is to export to this for using it in other files okay fine so setup.js file is completed 
Next, I am going to do is to search for the React Phone Input 2. I am going to click on this link. Next, you can see that this is the command that we need to use for installing this. So, I am going to copy this command and I am going to run the command here. So, now you can see that React Phone Input 2 has been installed. You can see that in the package.json as like this way. Okay, fine. Then, next, here in the app component, you can see that I am going to take the documentation. So, here we need to import these two things so that is phone input component and the styles. So, I am going to copy and paste this in the app component. Next, I am going to do is use the phone input component as like this way. So, I am going to copy and paste this phone input component. Okay, fine. The next day, I am going to give the props country for giving a default country. So, you can see that here as well. So, I am going to copy and paste the same into this phone input component. Okay, fine. The next day, here you can see that we can select the country from this drop down as like this way. By selecting the country, we can give the country code. Okay, fine. The next day, I am going to do is to use a button below this phone input component. And here I am going to give the name of the button as send OTP. And after that, I am going to do is to use an input field below the button. So in the input field, I am going to give a placeholder that is enter OTP. So after entering OTP, I am going to use another button below the input field. And I am going to give the name of the button as verify OTP. Okay, fine. So next day here I am going to give br tag in two places. At that time you can see that this is the structure as of now. Okay, fine. Next I am going to do is here I am going to give the props that is value. And the next day I am going to give the props that is on change. After that I am going to do is to define a state. So I am going to give or I'm going to define the state that is phone set to phone, which is equal to use state. I'm going to pass the empty string as the initial state. Okay. Next step I'm going to do is to pass this phone state here in the value and set to phone in the on change. So here into this set to phone, I'm going to pass a plus symbol. The next day I'm going to pass the font state okay fine next day i'm going to do is to define a function so i'm going to give the name of the function as send otp which is an arrow function and i'm going to do is i'm going to define a variable that is recapture and i'm going to assign the recapture verifier to it and inside this recapture verifier i'm going to give three arguments first is auth which we have already defined then next a string that is recapture then third an empty object these are the arguments that we have to pass to recapture verifier then after that i am going to define a new variable that is confirmation and i am going to use a function from the firebase so the function that we have to use from the firebase is sign in with the phone number and into this also we have to pass three arguments first is auth itself Second is the state phone, and third is the recapture that we have defined before. Okay, fine. The next day I'm going to give here a single await try and a catch, and I'm going to pass the error to the console dot error as like this way. Next day I'm going to pass these things into this try. Okay, fine. The next thing I am going to do is I am going to call this send OTP function in this on click of the button send OTP as like this way. So after that, I am going to do is I am going to define another function that is verify OTP, which is an arrow function. I am going to define another state that is user comma set user which is equal to 
view state i am going to give null as the initial state okay fine then here in the send otp function i am going to use that set to user and i am going to pass this confirmation to it okay fine then after that in the verify otp function i am going to use the property or call the function on this user that is confirm user dot confirm then after that i am going to do is to define another state that is otp otp comma set otp which is equal to use state and i am going to give here as an empty string the so next i am going to pass this otp to this user dot confirm okay fine then here in the on change of this input field i am going to give as set otp that is e dot target dot value by taking the event then next i am going to do is to give on click for this verify otp button and here i am going to call the verify otp function the next here i am going to give as async then i am going to give as await after that i am going to give as try and catch and i am going to pass this error to this console dot error okay fine the next i am going to pass this user dot confirm to this try as like this way okay fine here i am going to define a variable that is data and i am going to log that data in the console okay fine the next here i am going to do is to pass the phone to this on change then after that i am going to define a div or i am going to use a div and into this div i am going to give id that is recaptcha which we have already given as the second argument in the recaptcha verifier okay so here i am going to take the console next i am going to select the country and i am going to give my phone number then after that i am going to do is to click on the send otp button then here you can see the recaptcha section so i am going to click on this empty space for showing i am not a robot the next i am going to do is here you can see that an otp has came to the phone number or the mobile so i am going to enter that otp here then after that i am going to click on verify otp button so at that time you can see the data in the console so when i click that data you can see that there is a user this is the data that we have logged in the console inside the verify otp function okay fine next when i click the user you can see that there is the phone number so from this we can understand that the user is logged in Okay fine If this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing to the channel